Sema amen. Kolenda wezi kukukolenda cannot save you. Kolenda cannot save you to take you free. But there is one who can. There is only one name given under heaven. Whereby there might be saved. It is not the name of Kolenda. It is not the name of Bonke. It is the wonderful name. It is the powerful name. It is the name of Tonight, Jesus will heal you. Tonight, Jesus will break every bondage. Tonight, Jesus will set you free. And so tonight, I'm going to read Psalm 103 again. But this time, I'm going to read it as a question. And when I ask the question, I want you to shout the answer. Are you ready? Who forgives all your iniquities? Who heals all your diseases? Who redeems your life from destruction? Who crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercies? Who satisfies your mouth with good things? Who renews your strength like the eagles? Jesus! Somebody say thank you, Jesus. And so let me tell you what's going to happen now. I'm going to pray for you. In the name of Jesus. My part is to pray in faith. Let me tell you what your part is. Your part is to receive in faith. How many people came here tonight expecting a miracle in your body? How many of you are expecting Jesus to touch you? As we pray for you, this is what I want you to do. I want you to receive it in faith. And when you receive it in faith, I want you to shout a mighty Amen. And as we are praying, the Holy Spirit is moving. Every kind of sickness will be. Blind eyes will open. will walk. Even the dead will be raised. Your pain will leave. Your tumor will leave. Your skin disease will leave. Your cancer will leave. Your death years will leave. Whatever you Jesus is here. Yes, so you can say amen. Say my amen. Now this is very important. Listen carefully. When I have finished praying for you, I'm going to give you a very important command. And it's very important that you listen. Because very often miracles manifest through an act of obedience. And so when I have finished praying for you, I'm going to give you a command. And you are going to obey that command in faith. This is what I'm going to tell you to do. You're going to say, test yourself. Test yourself. Do something you could not do before. If you're in a wheelchair, I'm going to tell you to get out of your wheelchair. If you came on crutches, I'm going to tell you to take up your crutches and walk. If you had pain in your back, you're going to test yourself. If you had a lump in your breast, you're going to check for it. If you could lift your arm, you're going to lift it. If you couldn't bend down, you're going to bend it. If you couldn't jump, you're going to jump. Whatever you could not do, you're going to do it in Jesus' name. And you will make a wonderful decision. Jesus has healed you. Amen. Amen. Are you ready? Amen. I said, are you ready? Amen. 
After you have experienced that miracle, baada ya kupata uzoefu wa muujiza, I'm going to ask you to come to the front of this field. Nitaenda kukuomba uje mbele ya uwanja. You're going to come to that sign that says Ushuhuda. Utaenda kule kwenye ile banga lile liandikwa Ushuhuda. The counselor is waiting here to receive you. Kuna mashauri wako hapa na tayari kukupokea. We want to hear what Jesus has done for you tonight. Tunataka kile ambacho Yesu amefanya kwa ajili yako leo. I want to shake your hand and bless you. Nataka nikupe mkono na nikubariki. Amen. Amen. But before any of that, let's sing hallelujah. Can we worship Jesus? Amen. You know, the word hallelujah is the same in every language. I don't speak Swahili. And many of you do not speak English. But hallelujah is the same in every language. It means praise be unto God. So now we're going to join together in worship. And I want you to put your eyes upon Jesus. The healer. And as you worship, I believe many of you will experience His power. Are you ready? Lift your hands. Every voice lift it up. I want you to worship him as though you have already received the manifestation of your miracle. Worship him the way that you're going to worship him after all of your pain is gone. After your sickness has left. And sing it like this.
I take authority in this place in the name of Jesus over every demonic spirit of infir infirmity. Over every demon. Over every spirit of sickness. Over every spirit of disease. You foul spirit from the pits of hell. I rebuke you in Jesus' name. I curse you in the name of Jesus. I command you to come out right now. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. In the name of Jesus. Spirits of epilepsy come out in Jesus' name. Deaf and dumb spirits come out in Jesus' name. Every spirit of madness. Every spirit of lunacy. Every spirit of insanity. Get out in Jesus' name. Get out in Jesus' name. Get out in Jesus' name. Be free. Be free. Be free. In the name of Jesus. I break the power of deafness. I command your deaf ears to open, 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 open. In Jesus' name. Come on, respond in faith right now. Deaf ears open in Jesus' name. Say amen. Open. Open. 2020 vision. Be healed in the name of Jesus. I speak to every crippled leg. Receive strength right now. Rise and walk in the name of Jesus. Be healed in Jesus' name. Be healed in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus, I cast out any spirit of depression. Spirit of suicide be gone in Jesus' name. You have no power in this city. You have no power in these people. Go, go, go. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I speak to every cancerous growth. Every tumor. I speak to it to die in the name of Jesus. I pray that you die in the name of Jesus. It will die. And you will live. In the name of Jesus. I speak to barrenness. To be turned, to be turned to fruitfulness. In the name of Jesus. In fertility. To fertility. In the name of Jesus. Right now, I command every injury in this place. Every handicap caused by an accident. Every handicap from worse. Be healed in Jesus' name. I pray for creative miracles right now. I pray for a realignment of the spinal cord. For legs to be able to walk in Jesus' name. I command every spirit of infirmity. I'm pressing these people. You get out in Jesus' name. You must leave every single person. I pray the blood of Jesus over them. Holy Spirit, move. Touch, touch, touch. Fire the Holy Spirit. Come. In the name of Jesus, I speak to every heart, every cardiovascular disease, and I command you to be healed. Every problem with the blood, every cancer in the blood, I speak to every blood cell, and I say, Be healed. Be healed in Jesus. Be healed in Jesus. Every problem in the pancreas or in the intestines right now I command you to be healed in the mighty name of Jesus Every burn wound be opened right now in Jesus name Every tormenting spirit in Jesus name Every 
Kila tatizo la fiko. He Uponywe. In Jesus name. Yesu. Every skin disease. Kila ugonjwa wa ngozi. Leave. Ondoka. In Jesus name. Yesu. Every baby. Kila mtoto. That is injured. Ambaye anajeraha. That is sick. Ambaye ni mgonjwa. Uponywe katika jina la Yesu. Every single person under the sound of my voice. Kila mmoja anayesikia sauti yangu. Ambaye na maumivu. Now we will talk at the Catina You fast of too much. Where we run of You are not going to to You fast of cancer. You are on chef of cancer. I'm talking to you. 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 I'm you. Na kila laana ya kizazi Nila kufunga leo Nila oweka watu wa mungu hudu Katika jina la yesu Pokeo kuna liwa kusasa Pokeo kuna liwa kusasa Kila rundukome ifujike Kila gome ifujike kapisa Katika jina la yesu In the name of Jesus, I command every rash on your body, every horrible disease, right now, Sasa. in the name of Jesus, we crush it, we break it, we speak healing on you, every name Body part. Kila sehemu ya mwili ya Every body part. Kila sehemu ya mwili that cannot move. In the name of Jesus. We command you to move. We command you to move. Right now. Sasa. Right now. You are healed. And right now. Sasa. To every dead body, na kila mwili every person in the hospital, yote those who have been pronounced dead, we declare the resurrection. Verse 24. Verse 24. Grow, kuwa, legs straight now. Grow, kuwa, 
Bones be mended and healed. Me foot by pollen and gangrene. Ankles be healed. Me weak of the pollen. Toes be made whole. Me dole the gumba the pollen. No deformities of legs and arms. Heal and William by from the furubika of your kai sour. No broken bones. Hakuna foot by your vujika. Every bone healed. Heal and fruit of Paponia. In Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Receive your healing. Your care for the Yuaku. Receive your creative miracle. Your care is the Yuaku of Upadi. Jesus is the healer. Yes, to the Empanagi. He's here. You come out of He's healing you. And a Kuponia. Believe it. Amini. Start using your hands and your fingers. And the Kutunia Nikonelato and Nikuyako. Start using your legs. And the Kutunia Nikuna Vidola. Move your limbs. Tembe Nikuyako. Act in faith. Quakutsu to Jaymani. Do it now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Now, what I need you to do right now, God will give you the command to test your bodies, to take the step of faith. If your arm hurt, begin to move your arm. If your back hurt, begin to bend. Do something that you couldn't do before. If you couldn't walk, get up and walk. If you had a tumor, check for it. If you're skin had rashes on it, look and see if they're gone. I need you to check now, check now. Check now, check now. Check now, check now. Test your bodies out. Because I know Jesus has touched you. Test your bodies out. Begin to test it out. How many of you know that the Lord has healed you tonight? If you know that the Lord has healed you, let me see your hands. If you know that the Lord has touched you tonight, I see hands raised all over the place. Now what I want you to do, my right, your left, I want you to make your way to the testimony side. Because we want to hear what the Lord has done for you. We want to shake your hand. We want to bless you. The Bible says that we're overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the words of our testimony. As you share your testimony, it increases the faith of those that are listening. Hallelujah. God, make your way. Let's rejoice for what the Lord has done. Hallelujah. 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 Do I have any? Bring the testimonies. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. Are you excited for what God is doing here in this house? We have a testimony right now. To know Sasa. Mama. Mama Pabinti. Dada. Dada. Sister. Dada. What has Jesus done for you? Yes, I'm going to He has healed me. Jesus has healed you. Yes, I'm going to Yes, he has healed me. What has Jesus healed you from, Dada? Dada, nini am Yesu to go to I had pain over my left ear. From the gun. Uh, I, I mean, I had a problem with my ear since I was a child. Then later on, I went to treatment, then it was healed. But again, it returned back, and since 2021, I was suffering from this pain. And when I came on the day of the crusade, I received my healing up to now. I'm well and good. Hallelujah! Hallelujah. This woman Who you had pain in her ear. But she came to the crusade. And Jesus has healed her. But right now, we need to test it. We want to do something. That you couldn't do before. Could you hear in the ear before? Yeah, Kabla Sikia kwa sound I could hear only from a far or oh, else you call me loudly. She could only hear when you spoke loudly. Yes, alikuwa anaweza kusikia ukiongea kwa sauti au ukiita kwa sauti sana. So now we are going to test. Sasa 